Hey guys, N63 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Dreadnought.io. So the first thing you see is just pick a name, choose whatever name you want to choose, because this is what other people are going to be seeing, especially when they open up tab, and then they can see the number of ships, as I can only show you in mid-game. Um, so you get these two server options, uh, US, East, or Europe. These numbers are factually inaccurate. There's about 70, uh, 120 players and 79 ships. It shows you right here. That's accurate. So if I go into Europe, there's going to be a lot less. This is because Europe people aren't on when you're playing in the US. So if you're a player who lives in the US, I recommend actually playing on EU or starting on EU and vice versa as long as your internet is pretty good. Like for me, I don't find lag from either, so I don't see the the problem, although maybe this might be different for you. So you want to scroll to the very bottom of the page, it should be a little bit shorter. And first off, you're going to see your ships, which you can save between runs. Um, I'll show you how to do that. And then you see all of these uh, other ships that are public that you could help out and join them. Uh, now, the best way to start out is creating your own ship. You get to choose a name and then you get to choose a color. Let's make it red. Who cares? And then we're going to call it like Cool Ship 01. Uh, because I might have made a previous attempt into you. So you start with a ship, you get the fabric here, and you can actually make whatever you want. You can make shields, which help heal you, and your health bar is shown over here. Or you can make expand and beginners to make your ship bigger, but this also makes you a bigger target, so I don't recommend it in the beginning. Uh, you can also make other fabricators. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ammo fab and a... Uh, engineering fab. The machining fab isn't that important until later in the game because it might give you more hatches, which are these things that pick things up, or it could give you loaders and flux items, all things that are very high tier and it probably won't be achieving. So let me go and attack this little bot over here and not mess, hopefully. Um, the great thing is these two turrets that you saw on the very right and the very uh, left are able to be controlled from the helm. They're called RC turrets, and then they drop into this hatch, and then you get to put it into your fabricator right over here. Click it, and then you get to click it, or put the stuff by clicking it, and then you it will automatically move stuff in your hotbar. There's your hotbar here, and then you get to choose what items you want. So right now, I find that a hatch and a wrench are really important for actually destroying things. By the way, there is PvP. You gotta be scared, but you're in Finch, which is very difficult for richer players to attack because there's a combat rating, the clog added to protect protect you, but once you go to Sparrow, which is over here, you can use the map, mini-map over here, um, that shows you where the zones are. Sparrow is very dangerous. You're going to probably get killed, so I don't recommend newer players ever really go to that zone, although there are a couple things I'll get into later, like there's a little bit more diamond tiles and a couple other things. So it seems like we're gonna, I'm going to farm a lot because I'm going to show you why we're going to need it so much, and then I'll cut back into it. Okay, so what you can see is um, you can actually make in the ammunition fab, which we crafted from the starter fab. <coughs> Sorry. The starter fab allows you a very not specific kind of item. So if you want uh, standard ammo, it's kind of like the middle of the road. You can shoot it really fast, but it's not, it doesn't do that much damage. And here you can make a bunch of other things like slug for mining, sniper for farming, flak for a lot of PvP. It does the most damage if used correctly, but it's hard to do it correctly. And scatter is really good if someone's uh, already dead or like crit, which it happens when your health bar is zero, then they can do damage to your ship. So right now we have sniper, which the cool thing is that the range isn't high and it does a lot more damage. Tw I believe 50% more, 150 damage versus just 100, which the health bar is over here. So you can see how it is. I'm going to cut over to when I get a lot of mats. Now, what I just showed you here is a diamond towel, um, commonly referred to. And we're going to be crafting a lot of ammo. Um, and then we're going to put into the there. Keep in mind, that shows you the number of how much there's ammo. And if you click it, it takes it out. So if you ever want to change it or whatever, take the ammo out to feed another one. It's very important. So hopefully this gives us a good turret. Um, it has a one-third chance of giving us an RC, one-third chance of giving us an auto, and one-third chance of giving a burst. A burst is a less accurate auto, and an auto is a self-controlled, so a player actually has to be on it compared to being on a helm right now. Like, I'm the pilot right now, but I can't control an auto or a burst. So um, it's, it does a lot more damage, but you need a player to control it compared to an RC. RCs are the worst in terms of DPS, but still, we got a burst, which is less accurate, but does more damage variant. Although, it doesn't do that much more damage. It's like 10%, so it's not a huge uh, buff. I would have much rather had a auto for several reasons. Notice how I haven't expanded. A lot of players do expand, but I don't find it worth it. Um, I am also have a lot of mats. I got about like 200 of each, and I put them into, the, into there. You can see the amount that it has in each one of those. Um, 
just trying to get a lot of ammo. I'm going to look for another tile and keep mining until I get enough um, stuff that I feel represents it. Okay, so now what you can see is that this guy is actually critting me. It's really scary uh, how he critted me. He got through my HP, and you, now I don't have any regen, so I have to make a shield to regenerate. Otherwise, he's going to go through and actually attack the components of my ship. So I'm physically getting harmed, and now I have to go to a repair tool to actually repair it. But now I get some passive. I'm going to keep now um, trying to look for some more things. I didn't expand because now I can still squeeze through this. I'm actually going to shrinkinate the width so that I can become a nice uh, one world tile. This is called a world tile. Um, in terms of size, just so I can squeeze through and mine really effectively, because I find that to be the best way to become rich as a new player. Alrighty guys, this is actually a really quick run. I'm noticing that the more times you start over, you might get killed a lot in terms of this, just because people try to be mean. It's a, very fun to get a kill, but it's really mean to other new players. I don't recommend it for new... I don't recommend it for players to do in general, I was about to say, for newer players, but newer players aren't the ones who are, who are doing it. Um, yeah, you use these ladders now, and then you use that, I, th I thought I made an, oh, I, I'm, I'm carrying an engineering fab. And then you click that, and then you click this, you eject a little bit of metal that comes out here, but it needs to have a free space, so just keep that in mind, it's not going to push anything out of its way. But now you're going to make five of these, uh, sorry, yeah, five of these, and then you're going to make another ladder. And then we're going to have a pretty much full-up design. What I find in most of my runs is that you're probably going to get like four bursts, uh, or... Like, so four bursts slash um, autos and two RCs, which gives you a good ratio because you have your t you start with two starter RCs, which can't be ejected, so there's no dupes there. I, I remember I was imagining being able to do that before, but no, there's no such thing. Oh, I forgot about crafting this. Your, your ship will start four wide too much, so you just have to be uh, aware of that. Gonna get a little bit more ammo, but now what you're gonna have is basically a really good miner that you could use for yourself. Uh, the autos, or sorry, bursts in this case actually, are gonna be really useful for if you get another crew, and you can do that by going into crew control, and then you can give your friend an invite like this, or you can make it public, and then someone else will hopefully join the ship and end up helping out. Um, yeah, so that's really the main way that I would recommend uh, building up. Where's the the burst? Wait, didn't we have another burst? Oh, well, um, we're going to go down over here. Another thing that's really important is these world towers have a 25% chance of being metal, which can be very big of a deal because, well, they can be a big deal because they can make you... A lot of you might actually gain metal from mining is what what the gist of it is but you also aren't getting expo it's not the best way to farm although there's some designs actually out there it's very good for this though but if i were to go in a specific direction i might then switch over to the burst like um well i don't think this is a good case because it's diagonal but so I'm just going to wait on it. But you can see how it's a lot easier to squeeze into these far off RCs. I'm going to cut off till I get all the other things. And then I'll talk about what you can do from here. Okay, so I just got like a little bit extra of a, of a burst. But what you can see now is that I actually made a lot of metal. I'm a little bit overfilled on metal. But I have the ship pretty much done for mining. What is really nice is if you can get one friend in here, just someone random who joins or just getting an IRL friend or something who ends up playing it with you, you can do really well because you can have someone on that auto, uh, on that burst, sorry, or auto, doesn't really matter. And they could be firing away while you fire away. So now we're going to be going to Freeport. And the important thing about Freeport is it's completely safe. Not even the, there's no bots, nothing. And what you can do is end up saving your ship. And then you get a confirm message, it does kick everyone because it saves the ship. You can also, if you have a friend, end up making them cap, it'll be showed in actions. Or if someone's griefing, you can kick them, that's important for when a ship's public. Although, if you're on a low population server like EU, which I recommend for the beginning because no one's stealing those, those um, diamond tiles, uh, you, you, low population, you're probably not going to get a lot of uh, people. Granted, keep in mind, it's literally a fixed value, the number of diamond tiles that spawn in Finch, uh, you're going to find, which is the place that we were at, which is like a PvE zone. There is still PvP, but it's only from like lower class uh, ship combat rating, which is determined by the size and the amount of RCs that you have. There's some advanced stuff that also ties on, 
Regardless, you're not going to see much fighting. The In Finch, there's every two minutes, there's going to be a Diamond Tower spawned over the entire map. But there's usually not that many miners, so it's pretty nice. Um, but in Sparrow, you're going to see every, oh, sorry, every four minutes in Finch. And in Sparrow, you're going to see every two minutes, which is nice, but there's a lot of PvP to worry about. Now, another thing to keep in mind is in this ammo fab, or in the engineering fab, interestingly enough, you can make these shields. So if you have another crew, you can really do well, because the guy could be healing, he could be using an auto turret. You can't shoot in here, there's no PvP or anything, but you could be shooting this, he could be reloading. So there's a lot of tasks that you can do to get a lot of these autos. Then I recommend you make a second ship. Just drive it into, into Freeport, and then uh, what you can do is, if you make an engineering fab, right, and it's going to take a while, but either way, when you make that engineering fab, you can make an ejector, wrench one of these, right, and then it's going to be going. Another thing, an add tip, is that when you're in auto turret, you can just press Q, and then it'll take off the items, and if you click just an RC, it's going to take off the items, and it's very useful for the beginning. I hope I showed you how to do this. I mean, I was doing this recording for maybe 10 minutes or so, and I already got a pretty nice ship, I think, but it could be very useful and help you get onto your way with events. Hope you enjoy, and have a great rest of your day.